Today, we are going to show you how to do VBAM multiplayer with Wi-Fi. First, you're going to open up VBAM. Click on Options. Make sure the type is set to Cable. Start Network Link. It might be called something else, depending on what version you're using. One person has to set up as the server and give the other person their IP address number. The other person has to be the client and once the server starts their server, the client has to join the server with the number plugged in. Then it should show one player as player one and the other player as player two. Go to file, load your games, and this is where you need your save state. Go to file again, load state, and then you should both still be connected. Now go to the Pokemon Trade Center and start the link connection. Make sure to do this fast because my wife and I have experienced the link disconnected error if we don't get it done within one to two minutes. I'm trading one of my Pokemons for one of his Pokemons. Okay, I got it. Wow, that is so cool. Now that the trade is over and we confirm that each other's traded Pokemon are on the other's games, we run into an issue. Let's restart the emulator, hit continue, and see if it actually saved our game. Make sure you create a save state of your current game after the trade before resetting, otherwise you're going to have to redo the trade again. No, for some reason it doesn't actually save your game whether the game 4 saves in the trade room or if you manually save in the save menu. So load up your save state that we made after the trade and verify that it is loaded and has the trade Pokemon on it.
Next, we're going to go into our save files in our emulator folder for VBAM, and we're going to look for the .savs and the .sgms, and we're going to delete as many of those as we can and keep one backup if possible. This is going to delete the save from the fake Pokemon cartridge that we are loading in the emulator, and it's going to allow us to put a new save on it, which we're going to use the load state for to keep the trade Pokemon. I know it's a pain in the ass, but it has to be done, unfortunately, every single time. And that is how you are able to trade via two VBAMs on two different PCs over Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection on the VBAM emulator for Game Boy and Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. If you guys like this, please like, share, comment, tell us what you thought. And the most important thing you can do is share because we are trying to get to 4,000 hours to be monetized before October 1st when our hours reset. And we need all the help we can get. Thank you all so much, and have a nice one.